Welcome back to another tutorial guys. In this tutorial I will be discussing about some of the errors that I made in the previous video which is deleting the change button and the change in tree. I shouldn't do that because I need to generate the change after the total. So for now let's see if it is working or not. One, two, add a card. Okay, it is working. 1600, calculate 40. Okay is working and the next thing is this is uh, updating the stock sorry and uh, what we need to do is we need to insert into the transaction and about that I also need to add a field to the transaction as you can see the transaction does not have a date so we want to know like when was this transaction done we will modify table we will add a field called uh, date which is going to be text because text is uh, we, will, we will make the data as a text okay we will save it press ctrl s and what we need to do is we need to get today's date which is date it is okay it is okay so your transaction we will do sql2 is uh, insert into transactions so please uh, check the spelling insert into transactions and the columns name what we need to insert is the product name uh, we have a uh, quantity we also have uh, amount and the final thing was date and the values are first second third fourth since the id is auto increasing itself we don't need to worry about that see execute uh, sql2 and the list product name is uh, self and no it's not self product uh, products list self.x and then we need the quantities product quantity self.x amount is product price sorry the self.x and date and we will commit and we're done in decrease it's okay we will say we'll open well, what we can do over here is we can just say uh, tick enter to say everything is working properly so info will say success we'll say done everything smoothly okay we'll just run this code again We'll buy one ten add to cart and two one so total is three hundred ten I get three hundred fifty the change is forty rupees the general bill okay done everything smoothly so it worked let's see browse data transactions okay one kit cat ten three hundred is lending itself so this is pretty cool guys and it is also decreasing we can see it was 45 it is 44 and i think we bought the kit cat i guess yes it was 40 it is 35 i mean 45 it is 35 so it is working guys so in the next video we need to you know make this thing ready for another user because this list as you can see once we close the program the list gets deleted but we don't want to close the program every time the new customer comes we want to update the list but a person has already bought some items and this list is filled so we need to empty the list after the product has been bought so we will talk about that in the next video stay tuned for that video